Elliot Goblet was first on Hey Hey It's Saturday back in 1984. And prior to that, Jeez. he was on uh, there was the Daryl Summers Tonight Show back in 1982. Yeah, That's him from 1982. Uh, and he, uh, of course, he now doesn't have the, the zinc cream on, but he's still uh, out there. This is his 16th, technically his 16th performance on Hey Hey and his 50th. <laughs> That's not him, by the way. That is a reasonable facsimile thereof. This is his 50th appearance on television doing stand-up. Wow. Let's, let's, as they say, give it up or give a little bit of sugar for <laughs> Elliot Goblet. <laughs> And for the 50th time, it's great to be inside your television. <laughs> for those of you who don't know me, I am Elliot Goblet, stand-up comedian, corporate humorist, compare, and also the fourth but silent tenor. <laughs> I'd like to change the pace a bit now. I like to take black and white photographs of the rainbow and then have them coloured in with the colours that I prefer. <laughs> I like to flirt with danger and use my shampoo after my conditioner. <laughs> I'm really paranoid that people will steal my jokes so I never do my best stuff in front of audiences. <laughs> Last month at my place I had a games night and in one particular game I had to go outside of the room and each of my guests in turn broke a piece of my furniture. And after everyone had finished I had to come back inside the room and guess who broke what. <laughs> And because I guessed at least one correct, I won the right to have the games night at my place again this month. <laughs> I'm waiting on elective surgery with a bit of a difference. Just for the hell of it, I'm going to have my kidneys rotated. <laughs> going to have my kneecaps turn around 180 degrees, so instead of kneeling down, I'll be kneeling up. <laughs> and I'm going to have my eyes raised, so I've no longer got a receding hairline. <laughs> So, thank you. I got thrown out of a classical concert for heckling the conductor. I told him to turn around so we could see his face. <laughs> I got thrown out of Crown Casino because I tried throwing my own little white ball onto the roulette wheel. <laughs> Because this is a milestone appearance for me, I thought I'd retell an experience that I had a few years ago where I went into a cake shop and asked for a tin of brown shoe polish. Do you stock brown shoe polish? No, we don't stock brown shoe polish. You don't stock brown shoe polish? No, we don't stock brown shoe polish. So I went out of the shop. <laughs> but after a minute, I was back again. Do you stock brown shoe polish? No, we don't stock brown shoe polish. You don't stock brown shoe polish? No, we don't stock brown shoe polish. So I left. But I came back for round three and I kept at it round after round, punch after punch, counter punch after counter punch, and things were getting really heated, but my persistence was paying off. As time went on, I was getting stronger, whereas the shopkeeper was starting to tire. Do you stock brown shoe polish? No, we don't stock brown shoe polish. <laughs> you don't stock brown shoe polish? No, we don't stock brown shoe polish. <laughs> it was in round 14 when I got on top of him. He finally admitted that he did stock brown shoe polish. <laughs> under the counter. Now there's a moral to this story. You might have to wait a long time, but you can get brown shoe polish at a cake shop. <laughs> and on Monday, I'd like you to all go to a cake shop and ask for brown shoe polish. And you'd be doing me a favor if in your own capital cities, you went to the same cake shop. Just tell them Elliot Goblet sent you and they'll know what you're on about. I'd like to change the pace a bit now. I used to live with a girl called Pamela and we had serious arguments about the bedroom window. During the night, I wanted the window closed whereas Pamela preferred it open. So we compromised and kept the window closed, but we had the glass removed. <laughs> To satisfy a fantasy of mine, I once slept with two of my favourite women, but for me, things didn't exactly happen, because those two women hit it off really well. <laughs> Can't help bad luck, can you? I often go diving in the Great Barrier Reef, because I like to stare at tourists through glass-bottom boats. 
And I'd just like to say I do all of my own choreography. <laughs> Last month I bought trousers, but they were cheap because the fly's inside the right pocket. I guess I'm just lucky that I prefer it that way. <laughs> <laughs> do you ever wonder how many ping pong balls on average a guy would have to stick down his trousers before people noticed there was a sizable bulge? The answer's 37. <laughs> <laughs> now, being, being here on Hey Hey to do my 50th stand-up spot on television was a real buzz. Thank you very much. Yeah, come on.